Meanwhile, 91-year-old Margaret Keenan has another reason to celebrate as she will be celebrating her birthday next week. She's created history by becoming the first person in the world to receive the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID vaccine outside of trials. But the workers at St. Thomas Hospital in Britain's Coventry broke into applause as Keena got a jab after the United Kingdom authorised mass vaccination. Now, Margaret Keenan said that people must get the vaccine, as this is the best thing that is happening at the moment. I would say go for it. Go for it because it's, it's free and it's the best thing that's ever happened uh, at the moment. So do, please go for it. That's what I would say. You know? If I can do it, well, so can you. All right, so that is the message by the 91-year-old, go for it. And the second person to receive the vaccination was an individual called William Shakespeare. And he is 81 years old, and he's been obviously named after the famous playwright. His name became a source of humor on social media, with one user quipping that it was actually taming the flu. Uh, it was, of course, a wordplay on the title of the Shakespearean comedy, Taming of the Shrew. The 98-year-old Jack was unable to hold back his tears as he became the first person in the city of Bristol to receive the vaccine. Authorities have dubbed the first day of the vaccine rollout as the We Day, or the Valent rather the Vaccine Day. But I, I tell you what, you've made history today. You're the first person that we've vaccinated in Bristol. What? The first person that we have vaccinated in Bristol. In Bristol? That's you, yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a big head. <laughs> I'm 98. I suppose it was a bit of an excitement that uh, when it's about somewhere, the doctor said about the other thing, then I thought, yeah, and if uh, to, to advertise it as, as anything, but yeah, lovely. Uh, thank you all. Thank you so much. All right, 98 years old and still gunning for more. Emotions were, of course, high across hospitals in the United Kingdom as the elderly patients received their vaccine doses. Now, the second World War veteran, Michael Tibbs, said that he felt very fortunate as the medics had once the vaccine was administered to him. I spent more time with my grandchildren my great-grandchildren. I got two great-grandchildren, two on the way. So by this time next year, I have four. And the Indian origin couple, Hari and Ranjan Shukla, were in fact the first ones to receive the vaccine in the city of Newcastle. Participate, you know, in this kind of activity. Uh, as a citizen of this country, I feel happy that I'm, I've been able to play my part along with many thousands of friends, you know, who worked, you know. Uh, in this area to produce such wonderful vaccine. So I, I feel happy in that way that I've been able to contribute a little, you know, towards this particular exercise.